warm welcome to Podcast for Business with me, Steve Twine. Uh, Podcast for Business is all about helping businesses to share knowledge, expertise, uh, details of uh, workshops, events and seminars with the wider business community. Today's podcast is brought to you in partnership with Network B2B. If you'd like to business network in a structured and relaxed environment with groups across the UK, Network B2B is well worth a visit. If you'd like more information, check out networkb2b.co.uk. Now, it's very interesting when I do workshops and I do a, a thing called the Learning Index. What I see is very often people love to learn new things, but not many people love to make a change. Now, change is all around us. We're seeing it every day of the week. We're seeing retail outlets close. We're seeing people being made redundant. And many people would love to make a change, but really don't take that step. Uh, well, in today's podcast, I talk with Anne Chambers, who did make that change. I will not spoil the story. I will let Anne tell her very own story. It is coming next in this week's podcast for business. I'd like to share news about your business, event seminar or workshop. Simply email steve at stevetwinem.com. You know, there's one thing that we live in. We live in a, in a world of change. You know, the world of business changes. We're seeing shops close on the high street. And there's a great book by Wayne Dyer called Stop the Excuses. And when we're making, uh, looking to make a change, often we think we're too old, we're too young, we don't have the experience. Well, today I'm talking to somebody that made a, uh, well, made a career change. They once were a teacher. We're going to talk about what they're doing uh, a bit later on in the podcast. But I'd like to welcome Anne. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So we, we're going to be talking about, well, you made a career change. But before we go on to talk about that, before you made that change, Anne, what did you do? I uh, had a teaching career for 30 years and absolutely loved it. PE teacher. And I just, just decided once my uh, children had produced, my grandchildren, I wanted to free up some time. So I retired from the full-time teaching profession and started doing a part-time business. Right. So tell me about that part-time business and what's it all about? Uh, it's a, a company called Utility Warehouse, which is a UK company with a UK call centre in London. Um, and we help people save money or alternatively make money or both. Or both. Well, we're going to talk about how people can, um, well, we'll talk about how can people can make money in a, in a few minutes time. Um, but before we do that, so how did you get introduced to Utility Warehouse then? Were you, were you looking for something? Were you scanning the papers? How did it work? No, I wasn't scanning the papers. It was a friend of mine that said, would you like to do a, a, a different job, a new, new opportunity? Right. And I was always open for new opportunities. Having had a successful career talking to children, I thought it would be a bit different to talk to adults for a change. <laughs> yeah, maybe some adults are a bit like children, and to be honest. <laughs> Probably, yes. <laughs> so they are. So somebody, a friend introduced you to it. So did you immediately get in? Did you just try to save some money first or did you become um, part of the business? Straight away, I saw the opportunity and felt it was better if I became a customer so I could promote it from personal point, a point, point of view. Right. So I became a customer and a partner together Te over one summer holiday uh, while I wasn't teaching. While you weren't teaching. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and before we talk about the partner thing then, from a customer perspective, what, what kind of services do Utility Warehouse offer? Uh, they offer a range of uh, uh, utilities, uh, gas, electricity, home phone, broadband and mobile. Uh, they have just taken on house insurance, buildings and contents, uh, but they've got some added extras as well. If you take all the five services, uh, main services out, you, we give you free LED light bulbs for life, uh, which is a, a great saving and 15% off your electricity bill. We also have a very generous cashback card where you can use virtually anywhere in the UK and get 1% back and that um, comes off your utility bill at the end of the year. Well, Okay, so when, when you did that then, so you, you became a customer, you become a partner, what's involved in being a partner then? Was from teaching to doing utilities, it's quite, it's, it's quite, the people sat there going, what are you asking me to do? It's quite, quite a change. 
Well, to be honest, when I first started doing it, which was uh, 2011, so we're going back a few years, um, we had to do all the talking. Now uh, there's a fabulous app on a tablet and that does it all for you. And Joanna Lumley, who uh, most of you will know, is our patron and she speaks very highly of the club. Uh, the club so uh, we're very pleased with that. Um, so it was, it was, it's easy to do now, much easier than when I first started. When you first started. But I still enjoyed it when I first started. Great. And you mentioned that you you did that and through the summer holidays and things. So d- did it take a lot of time up for you then? Was it was it a forty hour thing? Or did it was it as hard as teaching? <laughs> um, no, hard's the right word. <laughs> well, I always enjoyed teaching. Yeah. So I, and I'm enjoying doing this job. It's just very different. Um, it, it isn't hard to get started. You uh, you have a mentor, the person who has introduced you to help you along the way. There's a bit of online training and uh, you attend a classroom training for half an hour uh, just to get you to know the services that we do and what we can offer. Um, but it's very easy to get involved. OK, and I guess one of the questions that people may be thinking about this. So, you know, do, do they you, you you can run it alongside something they're doing already I guess so they don't have to do it full time do they no some people do do it full time Mm. Um, there's an example of somebody that was in a teaching career again uh, for uh, for about 20 years she now gave up the job and retired 10 years early because she's earning enough from this uh, to uh, for her needs Um, and there's uh, another example of uh, a lady that was talking to her mother um, and what she's earning from this uh, she uh, is more than her mother's 35-year NHS pension. So you can do it full-time, but you can do it part-time or fit it round, you know, a teaching job. Or a prime example is young mothers that don't want, really want to go back and leave their young children at home. You can do it round young children uh, and make appointments to suit, you know, to suit your family life. Uh, particularly when they start school, when you've got the school day and you still want to be available for sports days and uh, going to assemblies to watch the children there, it's an ideal opportunity. So so it it sounds, uh, from you talked about there, you know, you've got the person who becomes your mentor and things. So it sounds like a very supportive process as opposed to, let's be honest, in some of the normal business world, you you know, you, you, you you get beaten up to do what you're doing. Yes, it's very supportive. Uh, The person who um, actually introduces you is there on hand uh, as a mentor, but you also become um, part of a bigger group. Um, My upline as well would be very helpful to my downline. Hmm. So you you become a a small family and uh, everybody helps each other. So, so again, I would suggest then there could be be times. They are in everybody's life, isn't there, where they get... Life gets in the way, as they say, right? And, and they may just have to put utility warehouse down for a few days or a few weeks. It's not like that business world where it's like, where are you? What you're doing, is it? No, you just fill the gaps of your life, and you can do it, as I say, part time or any time, just to fill in where where you want to do. Um, obviously, when I first started, I spoke to my family and um, friends, ex colleagues. Um, but then one, one, if, if you feel that that um, line could dry up, there are um, events that you can go to um, that the company run. Uh, you go along and advertise the, the business through winner mini events and this sort of thing. So, so there's various opportunities for you to do things. Now, now, I know you do a lot of business networking as well. So you find that very productive for you? Um, as I say, I started the utility business in 2011 and I didn't really do much networking until um, last year, but it's been very productive. I've uh, met lots of new people, new friends, and they've uh, become uh, you know, uh, customers. Some have become partners because they, wanted to, they, they saw the opportunity and wanted to uh, have an extra income. And then, you know, what's just come to me as, as we're talking there about that, there's, I think what you're describing there, that I'm picking up, when you you know, you build that relationship, there's a, it's about trust, isn't it? Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of utility suppliers out there. And, and let's be honest, at times, some of them have got a worse reputation than estate agents. So what you're describing is work, very much building relationships and trust. Yes, it is very much uh, relationships and trust. Um, 
But as I say, one key key factor is the UK call centre. People like the idea of being able to speak to somebody in this country and um, get a, a positive answer straight away. Um, we also don't advertise anywhere, so we don't go um, on go compare sites or spend money on advertising, which in turn we can pass that saving straight on to the customer. So uh, that's an extra benefit as well. Right now we're we're here in here we're here we're here say that one properly, Steve. We're here in um, in Harrogate. Okay, so if you're looking for partners, do they have to be local? Can you work with people nationally? How does it work? Um, obviously, it does help being local, but no, we, we, um, you don't have a, a patch as such. I can sign customers up anywhere in the UK um, and partners anywhere in the UK. Um, and I would still mentor them the same uh, wherever they are. Okay, so if somebody wants to actually find out more um, about the opportunity, uh, a really good point to call would be uh, getting in touch with yourself, I guess. So how can they do that? Uh, they can get in touch with me through uh, email, mobile phone. Is there, going to, is there going to be a link on this podcast? Yes, or, yeah, yes yeah. or a link on the podcast then? Yeah, we'll put a link on the podcast to you so they can just click on that yeah. and, and, and come and come through. And and for somebody, you know, we, we're talking about the network marketing industry, for somebody out there as well, because let's get this one out of the way, right? Because people have heard some horror stories about network marketing because that's what they tend to hear from their friends in the pub, don't they? <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, I mean I didn't personally know much about network marketing until I, until I joined this and you hear of the pyramid scheme. Mm. Network marketing isn't that at all. Um, anybody can get to the level they want in network marketing um, and, and produce the income that they require at that particular time. So there aren't the fears uh, that uh, are banded about. Okay. And I think we should also touch on as well, because we talked about the trust and relationship, but I think I'm right in saying Utility Warehouse have won various awards from which? Yes, which is, as, as, as you all know, they're a totally independent company, and we're very, very proud of having the Utilities Brand of the Year for all utilities for customer service and value for money, and then a separate award for the best mobile provider and the best uh, broadband provider. And there's several money, ma uh, money wise awards. They do six each year, and we actually hold five of them at the moment. The only one we don't hold, we weren't eligible because it was just for the, <laughs> the, the big six for energy. So, again, we're very, very proud of uh, those awards. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, it's a British company, as you say, with a, with a call centre here in the UK. Yes. Yes. A, a UK call centre, which uh, people like. And they're very friendly. They know your name when you ring up and are very helpful as well. So, again, just before we finish then, you know, there you were, teacher. There you are doing what you're doing now. Um, let me ask you this question. You know, how, how has it changed your life for you? And, you know, what does it bring you? Well, it brings me an extra income that I can now spoil my grandchildren, <laughs> which is fantastic. Uh, but it's uh, created a whole new um, group of friends, uh, colleagues, that I get on very well with. Um, socially, I go to meetings with them, but equally socially, uh, my upline is just organising a trip down to head office, which is fun. We, we meet the night before and go around head office, which is in on Ed Edgware Road, which is very informative. So yes, it's totally cha changed my life. It's a different way of working and different way of uh, earning some money. And like I used to teach and help children in the classroom, I love teaching, uh, well, it's not teaching, teaching. helping people, um, earn, uh, you know, achieve their goals and hopefully earn them the money that they require for their, their lives. So, man, you, you mentioned, you know, how it's changed your life and you've, you generate an income. How do you generate an income? Uh, for signing up a customer, I um, get a, a customer gathering fee for that. That fee depends on how, which services they take, but it can be up to about £40 just for signing somebody up. And as long as they stay a customer, uh, we get residual income fed into our bank account every month for every customer that we've signed up. But the company had the foresight of thinking that lots of youngsters these days want to pay off a student loan or get a, a, a deposit for a house, and they're finding it difficult to save that money. So you can have all that money up front 
in, in a quip payment, a quip, uh, is a, a quick, easy payment uh, method. So this is really attracting some young people to the business who uh, want to, uh, as I say, either pay off a student loan or uh, build, um, uh, get a deposit for a house and get them onto the property ladder. So there's two different ways of earning money, uh, depending what your situation is. Okay, um, and, and again, you're talking about earlier about the partners. The bigger the team you get, the bigger the growth, the bigger the income, I guess. Yes, yes. Um, anybody I, I introduce as a customer becomes my personal customer. But if I introduce a partner, the, their customers, their personal customers will become my group customers. So I do get a bit of income from that as well. So, yes, it, it, the idea is to uh, you know build, build a big business. So hence that's where, well, let's use the term coaching and mentoring. That's where the coaching and mentoring comes in from you. Because if you help somebody else, everybody benefits and succeeds exactly so that's where my background of teaching comes in but if anybody that wants to help anybody else could could coach and mentor as well great so look if you had any doubts or any fears about this books park them to one side you know forget the wayne dice when i say no just let's think about the wayne dice stop the excuses stop making them excuses you can make the change in your life uh, and once again if you want to get in touch with Anne. Uh, you know, go and do it. So once again, and just give us those details of how people can contact you. Uh, they can talk me, co contact me by email. Uh, I've got a website, uh, mobile phone, or through the link on the pod podcast. Brilliant. Thank you for joining us today and have a, have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing, with the time freedom that you've got. Thank you very much. A big thank you for taking the time out to listen to Podcasts for Business. Podcasts for Business, all about helping businesses share knowledge, expertise, details of events, workshops and seminars. If you'd like to get in touch, you'd like to feature your business or let me know about an event, all you need to do is simply email steve at stevetwinen.com. Also check out podcastforbusiness.co.uk. Podcast for Business is produced and presented by Steve Twynham. Copyright applies. Like to share news about your business, event seminar or workshop? Simply email steve at stevetwynham.com.